Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lent podcast. This is episode 33. What? 33, I know. Um, And today we have another parable from Jesus and Shona is going to talk to us about it. I am. And Dave, today I'm just going to hand straight back over to you. Wow. And actually, this is a quite a long story that Jesus tells. So Shona has asked me to kind of summarize it rather than just read the whole lot out. So this is about a king and he has a few people who he has lent money to. And one of them, we're told, owes him 10,000 bags of gold. That is a lot of gold. That is a lot of money. But this guy is not able to pay it back. And so the king says, well, in that case, I'm going to throw you in prison. And the man says, no, please, 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 I'll work really hard and I will pay it back. And actually the king said, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to forgive that debt. I'm going to I'm going to let I'm going to let it go. And then this man uh, goes out um, and he finds someone who owes him some money. And it's not that much. It's just 100 silver coins. It's way less than that. And this man says, I'm really sorry. I can try and pay it back. And the man says, no, not at all. I'm not going to forgive you that. I'm not going to let it go. And I'm going to I'm going to make sure that you pay every single thing back. When the king heard about this, he was not happy because this was a man who he had let go from a massive amount, from a hundred, from a thousand, ten thousand bags of gold. And he hadn't even let someone else off some silver. And then Jesus says, this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Thanks, Dave. Now, if you wanted to read that at some point today, that um, parable can be found in Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35. So if you did want to read that, then you can go back and you can do that later. Now, let's, let's take that first bit where the king has basically paid off this guy's rent. That sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? The king forgave the man's huge debt and let him go completely free and clear. Do you think you would be relieved if you were let off when you should have maybe been punished? I think I would be. Yeah, me too, probably so. But guess what? This man, as Dave's just read for us, he wasn't too grateful because rather than living in peace with others, he then just went and found a friend who owed him just a little bit and, and he didn't show him the same mercy, the same thing that he received even when he shouldn't have. And that's what that word means, mercy. Now, sometimes it can be hard for us to forgive one another. There might be times when people do really mean things to you and you do have to be careful about allowing them to hurt you again and again. Sometimes you might forgive them, but you might still remember how they acted. God can help us with that. We can go to him in prayer, acknowledging his work in our lives and asking for his help when forgiving other people. It isn't always easy but it's part of our duty as God's children. Now, there's a verse in the Bible that says we're able to love other people because God loved us first. And in the same way, we should love other people, we should forgive other people because that's exactly what Jesus did for us on the cross. Because Jesus forgave us, we're able to forgive others. So my question for you today is, how do you know that Jesus has forgiven you and how have you lived in a way that has shown others that Jesus has forgiven you? Great question. That is a real challenge because it can be so, so hard to forgive other people, but it is a really, really important thing to learn to do. So thank you for that. And we will be back tomorrow with another parable. Bye. See you later.